Yes, ants, those industrious little insects in every garden, backyard, and home in America. These little helpers have been depicted in movies more than once, famously in the 1950s classic, Them. Look at them, social, organized, ruthless. So what's next for this amazing little creature? How about a video game based on them? How the fuck do you make a game based on fucking ants? It's like making a game based on watching paint dry. Just check your sim games. Simant, grab your beers. This is going to be interesting. Okay, Sim Ant. Well, like some Sim games, there's a whole section devoted to education. Why in the hell do some programmers feel the need to make you feel like you're back in school when you just want to play a goddamn video game? Okay, basically there's two modes in this piece of shit. One is a uh, scenario mode and the second is the full game. But before I really tell you about the similarities between the two... I do need another beer. Okay, trust me, with this game, you're gonna be able to drink. Basically, you take control of the yellow ant who is in charge of the black ants. You'll lead them to new food sources, dig a bigger nest, and of course, leading them into combat against caterpillars, spiders, and the arch nemesis, the red ants. Is this game about fucking ants or the rise of communism? Both modes are extremely similar. You recruit some ants, bring them where you want them to go, release them. You can have the computer do some of this by adjusting their behavior in a sub-menu, but fuck it, let's get back to the game. The scenario mode, if you can call it that, every scenario in this mode, they're the exact fucking same. Destroy the red ant colony. That's it. It does get tougher and tougher, but isn't the scenario mode supposed to be like different situations with different goals? Like in scenario one, you have to fight your way past 15 guys who just got done taking bath salts and drinking crocodile piss and sloth jizz, and now they want to eat your fucking face. Then in the next scenario, you have to find a speck of musical talent in Justin Bieber. Personally, I'd rather let a colony of wasps sting my dick than deal with scenario number two. Here's a little trick for the scenario mode. Go to the cast menu, that triangle with a C on it, and bring the breeders down to zero. You won't need them until the full game anyway, so it's a nice little trick. Get your forces together after they grow a little bit, march in the nest, kill the Red Queen, and you're on to the next one. Repeat this process eight times, and guess what? This bitching ending will pop up. Exciting, isn't it? exciting enough we're gonna move into the full game trust me it's about as exciting as watching real ants on the sidewalk or jacking off a fucking llama okay so this is the full game it plays the exact same as the scenario game except you get unlimited yellow ant lives and it takes a shitload longer but here's the fatal flaw with the full game you see where my uh, black ant colony is? Well, the red ant colonies are already well established. So when you start finally meeting up again, the one colony is already so well established, it obliterates the new one off the face of the earth. That, and given the incredible boredom of this game, has anyone actually finished it? I know I haven't. The last thing I want to mention is the ungodly save time. The save bar moves slower than a turtle's dick. Look at it. And that's Simant. Is it terrible? No. The controls are easy. Not much of a learning curve. And for kind of a half an hour or 45 minutes, it's kind of fun. But the problem is, is the lack of variety. 
when you st when you get to that deadlock in the full game, the game gets so fucking boring. That literally, after about three hours, you'd yell for your boyfriend gir or girlfriend to either come in or put on a strap on and come in and fuck you up the asshole till you learn how to fart Amazing Grace. That's my analogy for cement. It is so fucking boring. It will lead you to let your asshole get violated until you learn to use it as a musical instrument. So is it a terrible game? No. Just boring as shit.